Hello, my name is Hong Yuri from COSEM, who will be teaching you about COSEM's electron microscope. I hope that those who had difficulties with electron microscope will have a better understanding from this video. Now, let's learn about electron microscope. Electron microscope uses electron beam to observe an object instead of using light. Electron gun used to shoot an electron beam is located at the very top of the microscope. COSEM's electron microscope uses heat emitting tungsten filament. This tungsten filament has advantages that it is cheap and capable of use at a low degree of vacuum at about 10 to negative 5th power of Tor. However, its beam dimension and luminance isn't that great. Moreover, its hours of use are 40 to 100 hours, which are short. The electron beam from the gun focuses on the condensing lens and goes through the objective lens to reach the sample. Many of you will be wondering about the role of condensing lens and objective lens. Condensing lens focus the electron beam to make it small, whereas objective lens places the electron beam at the position desired. It accurately places the beam at an observing position. When the electron beam collides with the sample, various signals occur. In an electron microscope, we collect the SE, also known as secondary electron, to observe the film. By using such secondary electrons, we can observe the basic form of the sample and the surface condition. Moreover, by collecting the backscattering electron, also known as BSE, by BSC detector, we can observe the morphology of the specimen. Constituent analyzer known as EDS can collect a specific X-ray to analyze the specimen's constituents. The reason why EDS analyzer is useful is that we can use the microscope to observe the sample and know the constituent at a specific position easily and fast. According to the secondary electron detector, SE itself has a negative charge and is spreads out to all around. To increase the collecting efficiency of SE, SE detector has a positive charge in the front of the detector and the scattered secondary electrons will come near the positive charge. This electron signal will change to light signal through the detector and the light signal will again be amplified to change to electric signal. Thus, such signal's quantity and brightness will determine the black, white, and gray level on the screen. If you have seen a colored electron microscope picture, its image has been post-modified. By using the Photoshop's gradation function, we can easily make the image colorful. That will close our session on the basic principle of electron microscope. Thank you.